Hey, hey everybody, it's Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday. It has been a long Friday so far here. <laughs> Hopefully your Friday is going better than mine. Um, dead car battery this morning, had to run some errands and that needed to get done this morning. And of course, dead car battery. Don't you love when that happens? So then that just kind of set the ball rolling for all kinds of <sighs> craziness. But anyway, we are here. I'm ready, I think. <laughs> if my iPad will start working, not sure why it's not. I wanna be able to see your comments. Let's see, there we go. Okay, hi guys, good to see you. Very good to see you. Um, and to chop it all off, it is about a thousand degrees outside. I don't know about you guys, but the heat turns me into like irritated, just real irritated. It makes me not want to be outside, makes me not want to go anywhere. And then when you have to run errands and then your car doesn't work, it's not fun. Not fun. But we're going to have fun today. We have got some fun elephant parade projects. This is a really popular set. Um, those little elephants are super cute. Reminds me of Dumbo, that one right there. Um, the thing that I really like about this set is that it has some great coordinating dies, specifically this one right here, which are little peanuts. I think that's really clever. There's some grass, a little bow, um, balloon, flower, butterflies, all kinds of little things. So I think I really like it. I came up with some fun things. I used um, a different color palette than I normally use. I stuck with some softer colors. So I know those of you who like the soft colors will like that. Okay, let me jump in. Oh, you know what, before we get started, let me show you a few things. I've had a pile of cards that I've been meaning to show you. I've gotten several cards over the last couple of weeks and I just wanted to shout out to all of you. This one is from Kimberly, beautiful. I think this is Paper Pumpkin. Man, Paper Pumpkin really puts out some gorgeous things. Paper Pumpkin that coordinated with the, uh, oh, see, I tell you guys, as soon as the catalog starts to retire, I don't remember any of it. Um, New Horizons, right there, New Horizons. Beautiful, Kimberly, thank you. Um, this one is from, let me open it because I forgot. Oh, Kathy, this is from Kathy, beautiful um, daffodil card, and it has kind of a fun fold. Look at that, see how the flower is detached from the stem? Really cute, but she sent me these cute little clothespins, and I know they're backwards, but they say, hello, hot stuff, emboss this. So cute. I don't know where she got them, but I love them. Thank you, Kathy. I will definitely put those to good use. Um, this one came from Sharon. Anything lemon, I always love. And that little lemon is from the teacup set, I believe. And look, she used that edge die there. It's just very cute. My friend Anne Marie made a card recently with that edge die and it made the paper look like an apron. She used the cherries and then that die and it looked like an apron. It was really, really cute. So anyways, Sharon, I love it. It's very cute. Thank you so much. Here is another one. This is from, um, I believe it is Dawn. Yeah, Dawn. I'm um, using the pansies. Man, those pansies, just gorgeous. They never get old. Gorgeous card, Dawn. Really, really pretty. Lots of little elements. Thank you so much. And then this one is from Jill. Oh, she knows me. All pink. All pink, of course. Thank you so much, Jill. I appreciate it. And then I got this special box in the mail. My husband always comes in with the mail and he's like, oh, you got a box. And uh, this one was unexpected. This is from... Um, somebody who's in my downline, Laura, she's not my direct, but she's in my second level and she makes the most beautiful things. Um, she sent me this box and we're going to make this sometime in the, maybe sometime this summer. We're going to make this cause it's so awesome. It's tied together like this. And when you open it, there's a little box there like that, that she had the tea and the cookies, which she put ribbon around. So cute, Laura, you always make the cutest things. Um, she also does heat press. She's made some really cute Stampin' Up! things. She's very talented. Laura, thank you so much. That was very thoughtful of you. It's so nice to get treats in the mail. It really is. Okay, so now let's move on. I'm going to run through some things. Um, the Heart and Home All-Star Tutorial Bundle is uh, updated and out. This is the June 2022 All-Star Tutorial Bundle. It features the Heart and Home 
um, bundle. My prod project this month is a little gift box that holds a, oh, I forgot what it's called, Burt's Bees Lavender and Honey um, little lip thing. So if you like that, or if you just like the whole suite, um, there are 12 projects in here designed by 12 different demonstrators. Um, they're all videos. Um, so the PDF has all the supplies and the measurements, and then a link for you to watch each of the videos. You can earn this for free by spending $50. I don't know what's going on here. This hair is, I got my hair done today. You know how they always make it super nice. Well, it's like real flowy. I don't know. It's flying around. <laughs> um, it's available for free. If you spend $50 with me or more online, it's also available in my PDF store for $15. If you are a demonstrator or you have a demonstrator, you don't want to shop with me, you can just buy the PDF. There's a new round of this. We do six months at a time. So there's a new round of this starting in July. We will have, um, I will open the subscription next week for the next six months. When you subscribe, you get the six month for free. So if you're interested in that, be on the lookout. Um, all of the bundles, well, I think I said this last time and then I was like, maybe I'm wrong. I think five out of the six will feature annual catalog and one of them will feature holiday catalog but I'll have a blog post written with all the details for you next week, okay? So be on the lookout for that. Um, we're having a kit sale right now. All of our kits are buy one, get one half off. And as I discovered last week that it'll take half off the second one that you enter. So even if the second one is more expensive, it's gonna take half off of that one. So if you buy two kits and one of them is more expensive, make sure that you enter it second. <laughs> I don't know why the system does that, but I'll take it. Here's one of our new kits. Um, they come in the cutest little boxes or like paper pumpkin boxes. And this is the um, Love This Memory Notebook Kit. It's a little memory book and it's really cute. Here's the actual notebook that you get. And uh, it has a little dot grid paper, which I always love grid paper. Comes with a stamp set and a block and adhesive all kinds of papers and stickers in a spot. So that's just one of our new kits. The only place to see our kits is online. They are not in the catalog. So look online, click the three lines at the top, I think they are, and then scroll down the kits. And all those kits in there are buy one, get one free during the month of June. Okay, so if you like kits, kits are really good in the summer. Um, when you have your kids at home, when you're traveling and you wanna take some crafts, um, kits are great because everything you need is in that box. Some of them are um, harder than others. And I don't mean harder, I just mean some include stamping, some don't include stamping. So those are really simple. Um, there's kind of a, a wide variety of different kits that you'll find when you look. So check them out. Speaking of kits, Paper Pumpkin, I have a few Paper Pumpkin kits left. Um, this is the May kit, the In Color kit, um, that could possibly have the golden tickets in them. I have several of these left if you want one. Um, they're $26 shipped. Also, I have this one, which was the month before, April, $26 shipped. And then I also have the Safari, I still have Safari and the Hugs and Kisses kits. Those are only $20 because I wanna get rid of them. I, have, I don't know why I ended up with so many, but I have a lot of them. So if you need a Safari or a Hugs and Kisses kit, I am your girl, I will send it to you for 20 bucks, okay? So let me know, you have to send me an email if you want one of those kits. Don't comment in the comments because I can never read all the comments. So just send me an email um, and it's erica at pinkbuckaroo.com. Um, I will update the video here with a link to my blog. You can go over there, find a direct link to my email if you need it. Okay, um, the last chance list is still happening. That's what we used to call the retired list. That's this catalog. I call it the spring catalog. Its official name is January to June 2022 mini catalog. Um, it is retiring at the end of this month. And some of the things in here are carrying over into our current annual catalog, so you'll already know those things. They are in this catalog. Um, they have a weird overlap time, these two catalogs, so some of them are already in here. But all the other things are leaving, and that means that get them while, they're, while they last. A lot of the stamp sets have already sold out, um, some of the paper. Um, I will update, again, the video here with a link 
so you can check out the list. If you go to the stampinup.com website and click, um, at the top there are three things and one of them says like specials. If you click on that, you'll find the last chance list, pull that up and it'll have everything that's leaving. You can sort it by price, you can sort it, I can't remember, but you can sort it different ways. That way visually you can just kind of scroll through there and see what's still left. A lot of it's on sale, 30 to 50% off, which we love, right? Um, speaking of catalogs, hopefully some of you are getting these. This catalog replaces that catalog, starts July 1st, right? <laughs> Every time I say a date, I'm like, uh-oh, did I say the right thing? July 1st, yes, goes through January 4th. See, they trick you, January 4th, but starting July 1st. This, these two, this one goes July and August. This one goes July through January 4th. Um, this is the holiday catalog. The official name is July to December 2022 mini catalog, but it's lots of holiday stuff. There's some stuff in here. It's not holiday also. And then celebration. This is our summer celebration catalog, which means everything in here is free, either with a 50 or a $100 purchase. Really cute stuff in here. I'm going to start showing you lots of this stuff. Um, maybe next week, but probably mostly the week after that. I am behind in my planning. I'm looking at my calendar. I don't even know what I have planned for next week. I haven't even looked. Let's look. Let's see what I have penciled in. I don't know if this is what we're going to do next week, but we can look and see what I thought we were going to do next week. If I can even find my page. Um, next week... Oh, Glad We're Friends. Yeah, we're probably going to do Glad We're Friends. That stamp set's so cute. The one with the little corgi and the guinea pigs. And then after that, I don't know. We shall see. But I'm going to start showing you celebration stuff because you'll have all of July and August to earn that stuff for free. Okay? If you ordered from me anytime in the last nine, about nine months, you're automatically getting this in the mail. I Stampin' Up! sends them. I... I don't send them anymore. I just pay Stampin' Up to do it because it's a lot easier. So you'll get them and they come wrapped together this time. Um, if you haven't gotten it yet, be patient. They come media mail. So, you know, it's like the slow boat to you. That starts July 1st. We'll talk more about that next week probably. There is going to be a starter kit special um, starting in July also. That is a really cute little planner. So I'll show you that next week. Okay, last thing I want to tell you is um, you guys saw my pictures yesterday of um, Club Create. <laughs> Club Create is, I love Club Create, but sometimes I bite off more than I can chew, I think. And this month's Club Create kits seem to have been falling, have fallen under that heading of bitten off more than I can chew. Not really. I think maybe it's just all the distractions and chaos that happened, you know, the constant, mom, 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 where's this? Can I do this? Mom, can so-so, you guys know what I'm talking about. I love my kids, I love summer, I love all of it, but my brain just doesn't work as well in the summer. So usually by now, my Club Create kits are ready to ship, get ready to ship, whatever. And they're gonna ship probably on Monday this week, which is the day I usually say they're gonna ship. So it has been kind of crazy. So just know that Club Create, if you're in Club Create this month, it's coming. It will be out by Monday. But Club Create subscription period is closed. I've, I'm closing it just because of the numbers. I'm trying to um, uh, lessen the numbers a little bit. Hey, Emma, leave that door open so Matt can get in there, please. Um, I'm trying to lower those numbers a little bit just so that I'm not so overwhelmed because I want to make sure that those kits are really good for you guys. Um, if I get the number too big, then um, I worry that the quality is, is going to suffer. So that's why it's closed right now. I might open it for a couple of days at the end of this subscription period because right now, Club Create, the Club Create subscription period should be for this cheerful basket um, kit. It's so cute. And I hate that I can't leave it open for everybody. Um, this is a little embellishment holder or card holder. And there are four cards that go with it. I love this bundle. This is probably one of my top five in the annual catalog. There is, um, <laughs> look at the back of my dies. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> probably from one of these cards. Um, the PDF with the video is available. So if you're not going to subscribe, 
you're not um, interested in subscribing or you, because subscription is closed, you can still get that PDF and the video um, and do it at home um, yourself. That is available and as soon as you buy it, it's emailed to you. All right, so just know that that's available. I'm not 100% sure what we're doing next month um, or actually August Club Create. I'm still working on that. Um, I will have that nailed down by next Friday because next week um, I'm going to work on designing for July and August. <laughs> One thing at a time. Um, really? There's no mail on Monday? Did they make that a national holiday, Jill? Seriously? Ha! Huh. That's my anniversary is June 19th, which is Juneteenth. Um, but that's on Sunday, isn't it? But maybe they give you Monday as a holiday. Hmm. Okay. Well, then that gives me an extra day to get Club Create. <laughs> totally done. Or maybe I'll work really hard and try to get out tomorrow. Probably not. I want to make sure I do it right. When I start rushing is when I start making mistakes. Okay, let's turn the camera around. I'm gonna show you some prizes. Let me turn you guys off. Has anybody checked my blog to make sure the blog post is up? Make sure you guys, sorry, I'm gonna make you a little bit motion sick for just a second. Um, I My blog post should be up, the PDF should be linked. Somebody check it. Let's see, oh, and Banks too, huh? That's new, isn't it? Isn't that new, the Juneteenth holiday? I feel like, like just in the last couple of years, that's new. Because I remember when we got married 20-something years ago, they said, oh, you're getting married on Juneteenth. And not very many people knew what that was. But now, now they've made it a holiday. It's up. Good. Thank you, Karen. Good. Karen, I'm glad you're here because guess what, Karen Service? You are one of my door prize winners. Yay, it's so funny. I just saw you pop up there. I don't have your, your mailing address. So Karen and Yvonne Ware, you're my winners from last week. So will you please email me your mailing address so I can get these in the mail on Tuesday. <laughs> It'll go out on Tuesday since Monday is a holiday. Um, this week, my prize will be Paradise Palms Bundle. Um, if you would like to win, all you have to do is share the video either on Facebook or YouTube and I'll pick a winner next week and I will send it to you for free. All right. All right. I think we are at the bottom. My desk is clear. Let's see if I can get this straight. Um, I'll put it right there and then we'll come back and see. Um, so if you've never joined me for Facebook Friday before, I pick one product. This week is Elephant Parade. Typically, I pick one product. Sometimes when the new catalog comes out, I like to do a lot of new different stuff in one week. But I usually try to just stick with one product. This week, it is Elephant Parade. And I've got some really cute projects. If you go to pinkbuckaroo.com, um, the photos are there. You scroll down under the last photo. There's a little uh, icon there where you can download this PDF for free. It has all the supplies that I'm using as well as measurements. Now, also with Facebook Friday, if you like the projects and you want them as make and takes, I will send them to you for free if you put in an order by Monday at midnight. You can order anything you want. It doesn't have to be the Elephant Parade bundle. Um, it could be anything as long as it's over $35 and you use that host code. Um, this is what they look like. I send you pretty much um, everything that you need. You'll need the stamps and the dies. And this week I'm using a special die, um, the dots and spots die, um, that I won't be cutting for everybody because you'll see why in a little while. <laughs> it's it's an awesome die. I just don't want to cut like 30 or 40 of them. It would be really difficult. So you can either use whatever you want, an embossing folder. You can order that die, whatever you want. Um, but as long as your order is in by Monday at midnight, I'll send you the kit and um, it'll have a thank you tag. And then it'll have everything else that you need. It'll have any embellishments. It'll have, I think, well, yeah, we've got two ribbons this week. Oh yeah, we've got some embellishments. Um, and the paper. And you'll need the ink stamps and that one other die. Okay, this is what they look like. All right, are we ready, you guys? I think we're ready. Let me get a drink real quick. Hold on. All right. How many of you have this stamp set already? It's just the cutest. I love it. All right. Um, and... Who did I say, Lois? Did I, did I say that you said you had COVID? I am so sorry to hear that. Boy, 
It's becoming so common now, isn't it? Seems like everybody I know has had it. And it's not as terrifying as it once was, which is what they said would happen, right? Hopefully, Lois, you're recuperating and you are not too terribly sick. I have a friend who just got over it. She got the antiviral um, medicine and uh, she did pretty good with it. So hopefully that is the case with you as well. Um, funny, funny story with that is that I had COVID in January. My whole family had COVID. And then, so they say, and I was vaccinated. So then they's like, oh, you're, you are immune for a while, right? But then you're like, how long am I immune? Well, when we were in Utah, several of the girls I spent the entire weekend with ended up coming home with COVID. So then I was like, oh no, I'm going to have it. I'm going to get it. But I didn't get it. So... I'm taking that as I'm still immune. When you guys think that, well, that's what I'm going to, I'm going to say that that's the conclusion. That's what I'm going to, that's what I want to think anyway. <laughs> I mean, we were all together the whole time. So I was definitely exposed, but I don't know. I paid my dues in January. I don't know how, how long we'll see. Um, yeah, Carol, we didn't, we did not get any medicine here at my house. Um, and we all had completely different symptoms. It was bizarre. Um, my oldest daughter was the sickest, which is strange, right? She had a high fever for several days. Anyways. Okay. Enough about COVID, right? We don't want to give it any more attention. Um, our first card is this little baby card. And I noticed in my photo that my little... My little thing was crooked. So that's, <laughs> that's how it's supposed to look. But anyways, I am using Petal Pink. Um, let's start by cutting our, or stamping our little um, elephant and doing some coloring first. Lois, it's your second time? No, how long ago did you have it? I See, I'm trying to figure this out. It seems like there's no rhyme or reason because I have heard of people who say they had it like within three or four months of the last time. Um, oh, see, now you guys are all telling me. Less, I had COVID twice now, very, didn't even know I had the first. Just, wow, isn't it weird? No fevers or anything. Yeah, it's weird. But then some people get super duper sick. I don't know. There's no rhyme or reason. It's bizarre. Okay, we are going to color this little guy with smoky slate. I wonder, oh, every time I try to zoom in, I'm sorry I do it, so I'm not gonna do it. I know you guys probably can't see really well, um, but I did clean recordings of this yesterday in the wee hours of the morning before anybody was awake. And um, if you wanna see exactly how I colored it up close, you can go watch those on YouTube um, because I zoom in when I edit so you can see it better. But what I'm doing is I took my light smoky slate and colored in the bottom half. I've got some dark there that I'm going to blend down. I'm using a dark, I mean, um, thick white because I feel like the blends behave better on thick white. You get less um, bleeding, if you will. Now I'm going to do his head in light, but I'm going to not color all the way in to his forehead, okay? So I'm just gonna kind of flick the ink towards the middle like this. And then I'm gonna take my color lifter, November last year, milder this time. Well, Lois, that's good, November. So that's, let's see, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. So about seven months, hmm, interesting. Well, I'm glad to hear that it's mild. Okay, so I blended those together with a color lifter and it gives that kind of that light shine down his forehead, okay? And then I'm gonna take my petal pink light and just color in his little ears. And I'm gonna do a little, like a little dot and a little dot for his cheeks, okay? And then we'll take pool party light and we're going to do our balloon pool party light all the way down and then I'll take my dark and I'm just going to add some 
dark color kind of down here like this. And then I will go back with my light and blend it all up like that. And then I'll take my color lip, color lip there and put like a little shine mark right there. Okay, so that's all the coloring. Hopefully you guys can see that. Oh, I forgot his tail. I forget his tail every time. And when I was making this video yesterday, I could not remember what his trunk was called. <laughs> I was like his um, snout, his, you know, sometimes when you're making videos, words escape you. And yesterday was one of those days. Okay, so we have got, what did I do with that little piece? We have got, I've got a little piece of petal pink right here. I'm gonna cut out one of those bows and I'm gonna cut out this little elephant guy. Now, I'm using the now sadly gone, debunked, I don't know what word you wanna use, the magnetic platform that is no longer available. I love it and I'm gonna keep using it. Although I will tell you, I taped the sides together so that it would stay and it keeps like popping open. So there's no saving it, unfortunately. If you bought a magnetic platform, Stampin' Up! is going to just automatically refund you, but keep using it as long as you can. But what I found is that if I don't use the magnetic platform with this set specifically, um, my dies were moving around. So pull back out your post-it tape and use that because it does move around. Okay, now here's this die. This is the die that I said I won't be cutting for the make and take kits because <laughs> usually a die will cut through two pieces of cardstock so I can cut two at a time. This one, I don't know if it will. It cuts out a lot of dots. It's so stinking cute, but you're gonna see how many dots it cuts out, okay? It cuts out like you could make a shaker card with each one. And if I was to cut 30 or 40 of these, oh my gosh, there would be dots everywhere. All right, let's do all of that. And you know what I'm thinking right now? Next Facebook Friday. Ah, oh, you know what? It may have to be on Thursday next week. I'm just thinking because my daughter's going to camp. Look at that, isn't that so cute? But look, <laughs> that's a lot. Um, I forgot all about that. So you guys, next week, I believe Facebook Live is going to have to be on Thursday because I have to pick her up on Friday out of town. But stay tuned because I need to look at the schedule because Ted and I are going to Houston on Wednesday. I don't know. Stay tuned for that, okay? I should have I should have uh, looked at that before, but I didn't. So I will let you guys know next week. Okay, now we've got a petal pink card base. We're gonna go to Houston to see the Astros play for kind of like our anniversary gift. Um, this is the Design a Daydream designer series paper. Um, this is one of those packs that you can only get if you spend over $150 and it's free with... Um, $150. Well, it's $18 in Stampin' Rewards. So I guess it's not totally free. When you spend $150, you know, let's just let's just look at the catalog. I like to remind you guys of this from time to time. When you spend $150, back here on page 179, it says party sales, but that's also individual sales. If you ordered $200 of product, you're going to earn 10% of that, which means you would earn $20 in free product, right? Um, so these things back here can only be purchased with those Stamper Rewards. Now, Stamper Rewards can be applied to anything in the catalog. Does that make sense? But these things can only be purchased with Stamper Rewards. So here's that paper right here. It's 12 by 12. It's a huge stack of paper. Um, and it's really popular. Last catalog, we had a nice one that was kind of bright. This one is more like subtle colors. So that's where this paper is from, okay? Now for our little Swiss cheese, pink Swiss cheese paper, I'm gonna get some many dimensionals. 
And I think I'm just gonna do four for the sake of the video, but you guys probably need to put about six or eight. Maybe I'll do two more in the middle. Okay, and we'll put that right there in the middle. Now I have cut out this heart. This is with the retiring bouquet of love dies. Am I saying I'm right? Bouquet, bouquet of love. It's the towards the front of that spring, retiring spring mini catalog. And the dies come with a, an embossing folder. It's called hybrid. So the embossing folder and the dies work together, or you can use them separately, which is what I've done here. Check them out because they're on sale. That set is on sale for $14.50. So that's really cheap for dies. Um, until they, they were, they're all available while, while supplies last. All right, so we'll put this on. Oh, wait, hold up. We gotta do our, our, uh, our linen thread. I'm gonna take a, one piece, fold it in half and tie my bow like that. So it's kind of a big, squiggly, messy bow. And we'll take our mini glue dots and put that right there in the middle like that, okay? Now most of it's gonna be covered up with that heart like that. All right, let's see, hold on. Do I want it a little bit further over? Yeah, like that. And then we'll take this one and put this right here. Y'all's comments have disappeared. And then we've got our little elephant buddy. He's so cute. Put him right there. And we'll take the balloon. And I'm putting the dimensional way on the bottom of the balloon so that it'll stick to the heart like that. There we go. And last but not least, we're going to put a little, that petal pink tiny bow right there. Oh, come on. Let's see. Well, my glue is clogged. Hold on. Let me get something for it. It's a pretty new bottle of glue, too. Okay, right there. And we will get that bow, if I haven't lost it, and set it right there. This is a good place for your take your pick tool. So sweet. Now, I did cut a piece of white for the inside because I really wanted to use the peanut die, I mean the peanut stamp. It's so cute. Now, if you don't need a baby card, you could put happy birthday something like that on here. But the little peanuts, aren't they cute? Stamped them in crumb cake. Thank you, Michelle. I love this little card, this little. And you know what, I'm you, Petal Pink's not one of my favorite colors either, but I love it with the elephant. I think it looks good. Uh-oh, my piece is too big. Let's cut it down. Let's see, do I have a trimmer? I have a trimmer. I think we need to cut it down to four. Whoops. What, what, what's happening? What, what, what's happening? There we go. Okay, and, okay. It was just too fat. Now let's try to put that inside of our card. There we go. All right, there you go. What do you guys think? Do you like Petal Pink? If you're like me and not like the biggest Petal Pink fan, don't you think it looks cute with the elephant? Because it matches his little ears. I colored them Petal Pink. All right, I'm glad you guys like them. Thank you. All right, let me clean up a bit and I'm gonna show you the next card or the next project was actually my mom's idea. It was inspired by my mom. She was over here last week and I had just two of the projects made so far and sitting out and she saw them and she said, she saw this little die that I showed you guys and she said, those look like Nutter Butters. And I looked at her and I was like, 
thank you. <laughs> I needed one more project. So that's what we're making a box for the Nutter Butters. Do you guys like Nutter Butters? These are probably my very favorite of any grocery store candy. I mean, uh, cookies. They're so yummy. We are a Nutter Butter family here at my house. Those are one of the things I really don't need to keep in the house because I will eat them a lot. Okay. So let's make the box first this time, okay? These came from the grocery store. Our grocery store is called HEB. Um, it's really mostly only in Texas, but it was in like, you know, like where you can go buy multiple packages of goldfish, you know, like lunchbox stuff. It was there. But if you can't find them, I linked them on Amazon today as well. Okie dokie. Let me get my Simply Scored. This is an easy box. We've made this kind of box many times before, but I made it to fit the Nutter Butter box perfectly. Lisa, you know what? It's funny you said that because I bought these and I didn't do anything with them. They're, do you guys like these? They're so hard, kind of yucky. That's what I was thinking for the next project that I was gonna use but they're too big for that bag. And plus, does anybody even eat these? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, the measurements right here on the page are for this, okay? Um, six and a half by eight and three fourths, flirty flamingo. And by the way, you guys, I put in an order yesterday with expedited shipping to have the supplies to cut these next week, and I forgot flirty flamingo cardstock. So if you get the make and take kit, your box might be a different pink. Okay, I'm sorry, just just to let you know. <laughs> It'll be fine because nothing else in the box is Flirty Flamingo except for the paper, the DSP, and I'll make sure you get a coordinating paper. Um, okay, let's start with the short side. The short side, we're gonna score at one and five eighths. No on the circus peanuts. Linda says she loves them. Christine says she has a love-hate relationship. Nancy, yeah, all sugar kind of makes the back of my mouth tingle. Love Nutter Butters, Patricia, me too. Dip them in what? Oh, Nancy, you're talking about the Nutter Butters dipped in chocolate? Uh, yes. Uh-huh. Your kids like circus peanuts? Your mom used to get them when you were a kid. Um, the Nutter Butters at Halloween, if you dip them in white chocolate, then they look like a ghost. And you could put little eyes on them. I don't know. They're very delicious. Any way you do it. <laughs> okay. One and five eighths. Two and seven eighths four and a half and five and three fourths. Switch over to the long side and score at one and a fourth and seven and a half. Okay, put this away, grab your bone folder and burnish those lines. Next week, two of the three kiddos will be away at camp. So maybe I will be able to complete some thoughts next week. <laughs> some clear, make so I won't make any terrible decisions next week. Um, we'll see. We'll see. That, at least I won't have them to blame next week if I do. Um, this right here is the skinny part. That really seems kind of big. I'm wondering. Let me make sure I measured all that right. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so this is a skinny tab right here. I'm going to cut off those corners and I'm cutting that little tab at an angle, okay? Again, if you come back to make this box, check out my YouTube channel. There's clean recordings there. So you can just go straight to that one project that you're wanting to watch. All right, so cut all of these like that. Now I'm just gonna use stamp and seal because that's what I have here and it's the easiest. Ah, if it doesn't tear my paper. You know, I usually don't have that problem with stamp and seal, but this week it's been doing that and I'm not sure why. So adhesive right there, fold it in half and fold over, okay? Now one end we're gonna seal and the other end we're gonna leave open. So you wanna fold in the sides first and then you wanna adhere the back flap first. So here is that seam from before. We want that on the back. So fold that flap in first and then fold the front flap in last. That way you have rounded edges all the way around, okay? All right, so now take your Nutter Butters, 
stick them in, sides, back, front. And then grab your ribbon. This is the glitter organdy ribbon. Did I say it right? Glitter organdy ribbon. It's very pretty. My oldest daughter came in <laughs> one of the hundreds of times this week and said, oh my gosh, I love that ribbon. So it's approved by the 19 year olds. Just in case you guys were wondering. <laughs> Okay, so that's how you're gonna hold it closed. All right, and then I have a piece of the Flirty Flamingo DSP. I'm gonna use the stripes. Oh no, I'm gonna use a plaid this time. Okay, and there's your box. Now, let's make our little elephants. Now, I will tell you guys, I had a different project planned for this project, and it used I, was, I wanted to make sure I used all three elephants. And then I switched it. So this time we're using the same elephant. But the, I'll show you guys that other project on Monday on my blog. So you'll see it, the one with the third elephant. All right, I'm gonna stamp the sentiment in basic gray. Okay. Now let's grab same colors. I'm gonna do the same exact thing. Start with light smoky slate and use dark smoky slate as my shadows. Now I have to ask you guys about what shows you're watching. We like to always ask this. We have gotten caught up on Umbrella Academy. If you guys haven't watched Umbrella Academy on Netflix, you might want to try it out. It's a little bit weird. How many of you have watched Umbrella Academy? The third season is coming out next week. So it's a little sci-fi. It's got some violence in it. A lot of violence. But if you don't mind that, check it out. Um, it's good. You know, we in this house have been binging Stranger Things the last couple weeks. We've all watched all four seasons twice <laughs> because we love it so much. So I will tell you that Umbrella Academy, in my opinion, is not the same. It's not as good as Stranger Things, but it is good. It's worth watching. And then the next thing that we're going to watch is Peaky Blinders, which the last season had just come out also on Netflix. Have you guys watched Peaky Blinders? Now that has a lot of bad language and a whole lot of violence. So proceed with caution on that one. That's one of my husband's, you know, sometimes you gotta, you gotta watch one for the husband. I like it. It's just, ooh, it's not easy to watch. I will tell you that. Um, let me see. Gilmore Girls is an oldie but goodie, goodie but oldie, oldie but goodie joy. We've watched that many times. So I don't even know how to explain what Umbrella Academy is about. Um, basically, this weirdo man adopted, aka bought all these babies and then raised them all to have superpowers. So they each have a special superpower. I mean, it sounds bizarre. So, I mean, that's pretty much what it is. And then, you know, craziness ensues. It, it's weird. It is so weird. If I tell you, you'll be like, that is the weirdest thing I ever heard of. But, I mean, it's pretty good. Yeah, Gilmore Girls is a classic. If you guys haven't watched Gilmore Girls, what are you waiting for? Um, Peaky Blinders, Nathan, you've been watching it too. Yeah, Susan, yeah. Um, I'm looking at your other options. Um, Cindy, if you're concerned about the language, don't watch it. It is rough. Peaky Blinders. The language is rough, yes. We have to watch it. Like, I don't want the girls anywhere around when we're watching it. And, you know, they're older, and I still am like, oh, I don't want them to hear that. Um, by the way, what I'm doing... <laughs> Here. I'm cutting out the elephant. I'm cutting out the sentiment with a die from the Sending Smiles dies. These little grasses are out of um, mint macaron. 
Virgin River. I know I've got a lot of Virgin River fans on here. Oh, I just saw someone comment. Um, yeah, season four is coming out, Cindy, right? Like, is it next month, I think? Yeah, I got to get caught up. I never watched the third season. So that'll probably be what I watch next. Um, and Margaret, you like Umbrella Academy? It's, it's, um, it's a special, <laughs> I don't know. It's just so weird, but I like it. Um, it's funny. It's weird. It's silly. All right. This is craft. I have been using craft like it's going out of style. I love it. So we've cut six peanuts out of craft and use your tip. Take your pick tool will help you hold on to those because they are little. All right. I've got a, a two and a fourth inch, um, vellum circle we're gonna put this elephant on with dimensionals yeah lincoln lawyer you guys all have been telling me lincoln lawyers lincoln lawyers i need to check it out because that has come highly recommended um i have an extra dimension on my finger so i'm gonna lay that right there so now we need the glue and i'm gonna take my little mint macaron um grasses and slide them behind our little elephant guy or girl maybe she's a girl ah, i just made a mess with that glue all right now let's bring back our box and we will take two dimensionals and put them right here and put our cute little elephant right there and then we'll get our long and skinny sentiment. Bosch, Rita, I've heard a lot about Bosch too. I probably should check that one out. That has a lot of seasons, doesn't it? And we'll put that there. Now, last but not least, we're gonna do our little peanuts. And I wanted it to look like he was kind of juggling them around. I mean, I've spread those dots out enough. So I'm gonna take them and adhere them to our vellum circle with Tombow. The, the one thing that's really cute about this die is that it embosses those peanuts as well. They have like texture on them. Isn't that so cute? So I'll never forget your kindness. This could be a baby shower party favor. This could be a teacher appreciation treat. This could be a thank you gift for anybody who's done anything. I think that's a great sentiment. And look, I used three different patterns of DSP and they all look adorable. All right, what do you guys think? Cute, huh? That elephant just makes anything super, super cute. Okay, let me get another sip of my beverage and then we'll make our last project. Okay, now I wanted, I've been wanting to use these peekaboo treat bags. Have you guys seen these in the new annual catalog? The peekaboo treat bags. They are so cute. And my original thought was to put those circus peanuts in there, but I quickly realized that these are pretty small. And you're only going to get about maybe three or four circus peanuts in there, if that. And they are pretty small. Like, let's compare it to the ink pad. You know, they're, it's not real big. So, I decided to order some butter toffee peanuts from Amazon. Um, word of caution, they are delicious. And you can just pour them right into your mouth <laughs> from the bag. Not that I did that. But you can, like that. And it, they're delicious, okay? So I'm just letting you guys know. If you like peanuts and you like toffee, those are a winner. So that's what's in there, okay? And you could probably fill four or five bags, one of the, four or five of those with one of these. There's a lot in there and these don't hold that much, okay? So one thing that we're gonna do also, we're gonna use the fern embossing folder to emboss that. We're also, you'll notice this tag, this is a sneak peek from the upcoming holiday catalog. These are called the Celebrations Tags, I believe. Let me make sure I get the right name. The Celebration Tag Dies, okay? Look, 
really fun. This one folds and makes a pocket. Then it has all these really cool accessories. Oh, the little mouse. We're gonna need him in a second. Um, but we're gonna use this one and we're gonna use the heart. Okay, so that will that set will not be available until July 1st. But, you know, as soon as I get new stuff, I have to use it. I've got to have some sneak peeks. All right, we're using this time this little elephant right here who's looking back. We're also going to use the little mouse, memento black on thick white. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to start in the back with some light smoky slate. And color it in. I've seen some really cute things online. If you're looking for more ideas, um, just search around for Elephant Parade. There are some really cute ideas out there. Um, it's really popular. Sometimes sets that aren't so popular, it takes a long time for you to finally start seeing ideas online. But um, this one, for sure, I've seen a lot. I'm going to show you a couple of swap cards at the end that I got last, not last week, two weeks ago when I went on my little trip. All right, so we did a little bit of light. Let's do his ears in the same way. And his trunk, it's not a snout, it's a trunk. And I'm gonna do the same thing where I keep it light at the top and in the middle because that's kind of where the light would be shining probably and it would be lighter. It's getting warm in here. Record heat. I know we've had record heat all over the country. I know those of you up north don't like that at all because y'all aren't used to it. Down here, we're not really used to straight on 100 degrees all day, every day, beginning in May, which is what we've had. And it is hot in here. We're going to a concert tonight that's outside. And I kind of wanted to skip it <laughs> because it's hot. I don't like the hot. Okay, um, for the little mouse. Now he's really tiny. So take your bullet end of your marker and just kind of tap, tap the color. Tap, 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 tap. Just lightly to get into his little arms and his little legs. Cause it, he's very tiny. And I'm not really even gonna do any kind of shading or anything just cause he's itty bitty. Okay, so there we go. Now, we're going to do a bunch of things with this cut and emboss machine. So, I need to make some room. We're going to cut out the tag from this. Um, I keep wanting to call it soft sea foam, and that's not what it is. It is, so, it is soft sea foam. It's seaside spray that I want to keep calling it. <laughs> soft sea foam, okay? And then we're going to cut the heart from that same DSP I showed you in the first project, Design a Daydream. We're also going to emboss. Let's do the cutting first, and then we'll do the embossing with that fern embossing folder. Um, we'll take, you know what, let's just cut this off because we don't need all of that. And 99, Tina, ooh. You know, it was only like 95 here, day before yesterday, and we were all like, oh. It feels so nice because it has literally been 102, 103, 101, 105, 106, day after day after day. It's been brutal. I don't want to go to the lake. I don't want to go to the pool. I don't want to walk to my car. I don't want to do any of it. It makes me grouchy, super grouchy. And going to a concert on Friday night, it's just kind of like, it sounded good back in like April when... We were like, oh yeah, let's go. Now I'm like, oh my God, it's gonna be hot. I'm gonna be sweaty and sticky. I don't like sweaty and sticky. <laughs> I mean, I guess nobody does, but I really don't. All right, let's get our little mouse. These dies, make sure you put them back on your magnetic, whatever you have, so you don't lose them. Here's the heart. The heart's really cute. It has stitching on the inside and the outside. This is part of those celebration tags. Now, let's grab the fern die, and I want to show you a mistake that I discovered. 
this is the first project I made and you guys can see that I embossed the bag. But after that, it wouldn't close. There's like a little plastic zipper there and it, no matter what, would not close. So don't take your bag like I did and put the whole thing in there like this because whatever, it messes up that zipper for whatever reason. So do like this, just stick it in like that where it's peeking out the, the top and then get your number four plate and run it through. And then I took it and, well, we better stick with that. And I did it like this. Okay, make sure that the zipper is not in the folder. Okay. And then that way you're embossed, but the zipper is not. The other thing that I did wrong yesterday, here's my original and I only embossed the front of the tag because you need to write in the tag. But then yesterday when I recorded the clean recording, I embossed on the inside and I thought, oh wait, that will make it hard to write on. So let's do the same thing that we did with the bag and let's, only emboss one side of the tag, okay? That way you have a little smooth surface on the inside to do your writing, like that, okay? Learn from my mistakes. Now, let's put it all together. What else do I have here? I have Okay, have you guys seen these? My team meeting, um, we talked about these. Several people said, I hadn't even noticed those. These are the heart pearls. They're in the annual catalog. And they're precious. They're like pearls, but they're hearts. And there's three different finishes. You guys, they're so cute. This is an embellishment really that you should get because there's a ton of them for one. And they're just really, really cute. Now, where did the dimensionals go? Did I leave them on the other tray? Are they right here? Dimensionals, where did you go? Okay, well, we'll get a different sheet. They're right here. You're probably like, they're right there. All right, we're gonna start with the heart and we'll put that there. And then we'll start with our elephant. Put that right there. The little mouse is gonna be standing on the elephant's back like that, like he's going for a ride. And then I cut out, oh no, did I lose it already? I saw it sitting, here. oh here it is, right here. I cut out a petal pink stitched rectangle and we're gonna stamp what a happy day. Can I get it straight? Let's see. Mm, pretty much. <laughs> straight enough. And then we'll take two dimensionals and put that right there like that, like he's standing on it. And then get those adorable adorable um, pearl hearts, maybe a big one and a small one. I put those right there. Oops, not stuck to my finger. That's not what we want. Nope, whoa, this guy is giving me trouble. Right there, do what I say and stick. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so now let's open our bag. Pour in the butter toffee peanuts. I need to throw this bag away because I do not need to eat these. They are not low carb or low in calorie, but they are delish. I'm down to the bottom, so I'm getting a lot of crumbs. Let's see if I can get some more bigger. Nah. All right, well, that's gonna have to do. Kinda get it filled in. Close that bag, and I am throwing that in the trash because I don't need to eat that. And now some petal pink, soft poly polyester ribbon. Yeah, these are Stampin' Up! bags. Yes, 
They are called peekaboo bags in our annual catalog. You get five craft and five white in a package, and I think they're $6. I love a 3D project or a gift or treat that requires very little work. And that's what these are. And now we will take our white twine, which is not here. <laughs> Where did you go? Okay, we'll use linen thread then. Hmm, that's weird, it was here. And we'll tie this on. It's probably with the dimensionals somewhere. This tag already has a hole cut in it, which I love. And tie a bow onto the bow, like that. These, again, a party favor, thinking of you, a whatever, you know, friend, tree, I don't know, a lots of things, because what a happy day is a great sentiment. How cute. Don't you think the fern goes great with them? And the peanuts. All right, there you go. That's project number three. Now let me show you a couple of other things that I'll have on my blog next week. Um, this is the card that I decided not to do in place of this one. And you'll see, see that's the third elephant. This is a... Um, the, oh, what is this called? This die, I forgot, it's in the annual catalog, but look how cute. It's a little, oh, now I can't remember what it's called, but look, there's a little nutter butter there with that guy. And you just slide that in there. Very cute. I'll have all the details, the measurements and the supply list for this on Monday, okay? And then I've got two swap cards. This one was from my friend Angie Judah over at Chicken Scratch. Look at her little elephant. He's so cute. She used the new um, Orchid Oasis paper. And then this one is from Donna Singleton. I don't think I know Donna, but we got swap cards from each other, and it's really cute. And she's using more of that Design a Daydream DSP, too. Really cute. And that is Mint Macaron, I think. How cute. All right. Well, there you go, you guys. I hope you like these projects. Um, remember, if you want these make and takes for free, all you have to do is put in an online order between now and Monday midnight. I will send you everything you need, including the bag, the ribbon, the twine, um, the paper, the little hearts. And all you'll need to do is provide the stamps and that uh, the bundle, the elephant bundle in this one dots and spots dies, or use whatever you have. Okay? All right, you guys, make sure you go over and get that free PDF. And I hope you have a great weekend. Stay tuned for next week. I think our schedule will be a little bit different next week. I'll let you know early in the week once I get our time table down. It'll either be early Friday or on Thursday. Okay? All right, you guys, have a great weekend. Stay cool, and I'll see you next week. Bye.